Hey guys, so um, I got a, another vintage blaster and I just wanted to make a video on it because I haven't really seen too many videos about it uh, anywhere. Um, the only people that I know of that have one is Triple B and um, Psych on YouTube. And uh, this one I bought from a pretty well known nerfer. Uh, I bought it from Forsaken Angel 24. And uh, as you can tell by the title, it's a uh, Super Tech 9000. And now I'm going to go over the uh, small blaster first. So here it is. It's the uh, Supermax 9000, um, fully complete with the scope. Uh, so this is basically just a Supermax 500, and it's just repainted, and it's got the scope. And it's exactly the same as a Small Soldier's Supermax 5000 because of the scope and uh, this isn't actually a scope I know I called it a scope but it's actually supposed to be a laser sight like like a laser pointer sight um, and I think I mentioned this in my small soldiers video um, but yeah uh, back when this was made laser sights were actually quite large they weren't as small as they are today so lots of people think that you know this is a sight like a scope that you would look down but it's not. It's supposed to be a laser sight. There's no hole in the back to look through. And there's actually, if I can get it open, there's a compartment for batteries and there's a light bulb. You can change the light bulb. I haven't put any batteries in this just because uh, I don't have double A's right now. Uh, but before the video, I did take the double A's out of my keyboard and I tested it and it works just fine. Um, this is literally in perfect condition. Uh, it's barely any scratches. The sticker's great. And yeah, it looks good. So do a quick shot. That's up close. And then the other side. And yeah, I'm just uh, feeling really lucky. Uh, I can't believe I have this blaster. I've wanted one for a long time and now I have almost every blaster that I've ever wanted. So I've been getting really lucky with finding all these rare blasters. And uh, came with the target, which uh, some people don't have, but I have the target. And it didn't come with all the darts, but it came with most of them. So, yeah, I got tons of Laramie darts now, and they shoot just fine. I'm going to uh, shoot my door. The AR crack, or the overpressure valve cracks at like four or five pumps. Shoot one more. So, yeah, they shoot good. The darts aren't worn out at all. It's almost like no one even ever played with this blaster. Um, I also have the box. The box is pretty beat up, like on the front and stuff, but that's okay. I'm happy to have the box. That's pretty cool. So yeah. And then here's the main blaster. And uh, this is in just as good of condition as the other one, the uh, pistol. And same thing, it's got the removable scope. And I think it actually looks pretty cool without the scope, but I'll be leaving it on. This light works as well, no batteries in it though. Attachments removable, of course. And it works fine. The only thing though is the check valve and the pump is shot I think because like if I pump it up and then hold the pump down, it'll fire. But if I pump it up and then let go of the pump, it loses pressure sometimes. Sometimes it keeps pressure, sometimes it loses pressure. So I would probably just um, open it up and put a little check valve in there and uh, it'll be fine. Or I might just leave it alone, I don't know. Um, but I may open it up and put a check valve in it because I'd like it just to be perfect. 
It does fire though. I'll fire it right now. We'll do a yellow dart. And then we'll do a green dart. The um, open pressure valve doesn't seem to be cracking in this. Uh, or maybe it's just I'm not getting to that high of enough pressure because the check valve isn't um, working very well. So I haven't heard the, the thing crack or the OPRD crack at all. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I may just completely uh, get a new pump for it. If I can find uh, someone that's selling like a 5K pump, uh, it'll fit it to the same pump. So hopefully I can get a part for it. I don't know. So yeah, it's shooting good. And it, again, uh, it's in great condition. I'm just kind of, uh, I've just been like playing with it and looking at it. Like I'm really surprised to have one. And uh, it was really nice that I could find one. And I found it for a good price, way cheaper than Venom was selling on eBay. Like Venom's trying to get like six, $700. I think it's six something or it's 580 or 680 or something like that. I don't remember on eBay. And that's American dollars plus shipping. And his doesn't even come with the barrel and the main blaster, the Super Tech, doesn't even work. It's broken. It doesn't hold pressure at all. It doesn't fire. So, yeah, like, what's the point? It's broken. I would never buy that on eBay. I was thinking about trading him my maximizer for it, but it's broken. And I found this one locally. I only had to drive like 20 minutes to meet Angel. And yeah, I bought it off him and he gave me a whole bunch of extra free stuff, like a Mac shot and some stuff like that. Um, this specific SuperTech 9000 has a bit of a story uh, about it. Um, if you don't know the story about it, I'm just going to share it with you guys now. So uh, you may know Forsaken Angel 24. Uh, he's retired, but uh, he was a pretty well-known nerfer. He invented a lot of mods, like the Angel Breach and some other mods. And he is very well known for... Uh, you know, kind of starting the nerf scene in Canada. It he hosted a lot of wars and stuff like that. Um, so he actually, when I bought this off him, we hung out for a couple minutes, and he told me how he got this. He was looking on Kijiji, uh, but not just in his area. Like he was looking in different parts of the world and all over the place in Canada and the United States. And he eventually found a post in California uh, on Kijiji, and there's this guy selling this, you know, this, the, all the darts, the target, and the box on Kijiji from California. And he only wanted $10 for it, but he wasn't going to ship to Canada. There was no way he would ship to Canada. He didn't want to ship internationally or even ship it at all. He was only trying to do local pickup. So just... Somehow, he knew a person that lived in California that he was friends with. So he paid this person to drive a couple hours to the complete other side of California to go pick this up, drive back home to uh, the person's house, package it up, and then ship it to him. So in the end, it didn't really cost him $10. You know, he had to pay 10 bucks plus gas to drive for that person to drive there and back and then post fees for them to ship it to Canada. And I'd assume he paid them a little bit for their time. And that's all on American dollars. Um, and at the time, I think it was probably the same right now. Like our, our dollar was probably pretty low, like it usually is. So it probably ended up costing him around like $300, he said. So yeah, it's still pretty cool, cool story. It's a nice find. Uh, I couldn't believe that he found one on Kijiji. I've been looking on Kijiji for a while. And, uh, you know, I found some other cool stuff, like the uh, that new in-box Supermax 5000 that you may have seen. Um, but, yeah. A little bit of background around this blaster. Uh, I'm not sure if this is totally true, uh, but the source that I heard this from, I think is pretty credible. Uh, he's uh, pretty knowledgeable about Nerf, in my opinion. Um, Triple B told me that these were distributed by Sears uh, in 1992 or 3, I think. I don't remember. So Sears sold these, and they were in the Christmas catalog, and they were out during the holidays, and not too many were sold. That's why they're so rare. And uh, I'll sh tell you the date that this was made. So it says, Laramie 
number 9523-0, made in China, 1994, US and other foreign patents pending. So this was made in 1994. I think there's some older ones too. This was probably maybe out for two years and then they stopped making it. Um, but yeah, it's just in great condition and it's a cool blaster. And if you can pick one up, definitely do it. If you can find them secondhand or whatever on Kijiji, don't pay a ridiculous amount of money for them unless you want to. Um, I really like collecting Nerf. It, uh, I don't know, just embraces my inner man child and uh, just makes me happy. So that's why I do it. Um, but, you know, live within your means. Don't overspend spending all your money on Nerf. Uh, you know, you want to put gas in your car, food in your table, and pay your bills and rent and all that before you go spending all your money on Nerf and whatever. But, yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys. It's a very special blaster. It means a lot to me. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know I enjoyed making it. And uh, just a little on a side note, um, I found some editing software that I'm going to try and learn how to use. Um... I, well, it's not really editing software, it's just, I got, I downloaded iMovie, and then I downloaded some other program that I don't remember, and that is kind of like better editing software, and then, um, thanks to, uh, Kronos, I don't know if you're gonna watch this, but thanks for sending me that link to transfer, to like, um, be able to use a Samsung Galaxy with a Mac computer, because the videos weren't, um, I don't know, they weren't being able to like download to iMovie or my other editing software because the whole like Android to Mac thing. So yeah, I'm gonna try and learn how to do that and hopefully get a like nice intro and stuff because I'd like to make some nicer videos. So yeah, thanks for that Kronos. I was reading that website that you sent me and yeah. So just wanna show you these two guys and uh, like always, hope you have a good day and I will see you on the forums. Bye.